into this adorable little puff sleeve tee. This, in fact, this is the exact color that Stephanie, I said Stephanie again, Bethany is wearing. So I'm gonna ask you, Kevin, to give me a little lowdown on these colors because this one is the indigo tie-dye stripe. This one is so pretty, gray leopard. Here we have, oh, I like this one a lot. This one's um, multi-snake and it's got so many cool colors. And then we have four, uh, three, four solids. We have black and white. We also have it in oleander, which is the soft lilac. And then this is my favorite color. This one is the emerald green. And boy, is it a gorge color. Uh, Pantone color of the year right here in the uh, purple family. But a lot of that incorporated into some of the python prints as well. Uh, this is just one of the cutest uh, little tees that you have done. Once again, so much personality on this one. This one really did incredibly well when we launched this. This is you said it best. It's just a great tee. It's soft. It's quality. But look, it's got this little lip here on the shoulder. It's got extra detail. It's not too exaggerated a puffy sleeve. The right length to really hit you in the right place. You get that coverage, but still all the personality and sweetness. It's the right length. It's got a great, great feel inside, which is so important. And I, I just, I adore this top. I think it just really takes an outfit to the next level. It really looks cute, pretty sophisticated, feminine. It's, it's also checking all the boxes. And I love these patterns because they just have so much personality. I really do. That little sleeve detail or that shoulder detail, I should say, um, particularly. In fact, I love that you, Bethany, being so petite, um, that it adds a little bit more structure to your shoulders. And then I love with Kenya, she and I, or she is 5'10", I'm 5'9". Look at how it just kind of rounds things out. I like something about the shoulder detail that gives, I don't know if structure is the right word, because it doesn't, it's not sharp, but it just adds a nice softness or curviness to it. And it's not a classic puff. Like you can see, there's another, you have to really show, there's another little um, piece of tailoring here. There's another another um, another seam. It's not just a basic puffy sleeve tee. It's not a little princess tee. It's got a little bit of an intentional fashion moment, a design to it that's not just like these little pleats and a puff. It's got this little lip yeah. and it's, it's designed really, really impeccably. We, uh, we launched this together just a couple weeks ago uh, for spring fashion kickoff. And yeah, this one was just a uh, hot, hot seller. I can't believe this price for this. I mean, look at the- There you go. Look at the detailed uh, design on this. I mean, to, to make this happen, it's not like just a quick little cut and sew moment. This is a lot of special detail. Wow. That yeah, is there are a lot of little themes and little tailoring moments. And that all matters because it matters about making a woman feel good and look good and making her arms look good and feel confident. So look at that, yeah, that extra little seam. So it's not your basic puffy sleeve cheap tee. It's, a, it's again, functioning as a blouse. I just, I don't make really silky blouses like that because I feel that they, they stain so easily. You have to dry clean them. I want to make tops that you can wear with jeans or depending upon the color, you could wear to work. So, you know, this is a just, I think this is so cute. And it's a sophisticated tie-dye. Yeah. You know, it's a mature tie-dye. I, I think it's so adorable. I do too. By the way, 24 inches in length. It is a beautiful, well, there's a rayon blend going on here, which I can always detect from just a touch, uh, along with some spandex. So you've got a nice stretch and softness. So it's rayon poly and span. Uh, 24 inches in the length machine wash, line dry or hang dry. I'm a hang dryer. I just feel like it's better on my clothes. It's just what I do. I'm a hang dryer too. Are you? Wear and tear on your clothes. Yeah. I yeah. Just, I, why not? Why just, exactly. I always have a, I have a rod, rod I put in, hang it. I Me just too. like, it also could breathe then too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. By the way, the white is, we're calling chalk, which, oh, what a feeling to get a nice brand it's new precious. crisp white shirt yes. for the season. Um, the black and then uh, the oleander. This is such a very important color for this, uh, for this upcoming fashion year. Purples are a, a strong, strong theme that we're seeing across the board. Speaking of which, in addition to the soft oleander or lilac purple, the one python or the snake print is so cool. I mean, this is so interesting. There's, oh, only seven dozen left in this one, St uh, Beth Bethany. So look at the colors Easter. you did. Love this. Here, Easter, you can wear the purple one for a more classic with a twist Easter, but this is like a good, fun, 
you know, pastel Easter snake. It's cute. The indigo tie-dye stripe that you're wearing is adorable. I know. It's so cute. And I'm picturing it. We had those Bermuda shorts earlier. I'm thinking about the summer. I'm thinking about your faded jeans, your white jeans, uh, your cute summer moments. That one is more sophisticated, great with just a simple pair of black pants and put it back with the cardigan we were selling earlier for just a great outfit, ballet flats. Like that's just a more classic, traditional, you know, you have something for everyone, but these are good basics. Just get more, a one or two just to have. And you made a good point about the white t-shirts. I promise you, your t-shirts are square or cheap or like that just tight neck. And you have to have some design for your t-shirt. They can function as a blast. And you have stains in your t-shirts in your drawers <laughs> all the time. And I always find stains. And this is such a good feeling. It's like getting new towels or new sheets when you get new white tea. Yeah. You know, new black tea, a new classic tea. Well, look, let's look at you in this in black because, I mean, it's crazy how a color can change the whole, you know, dynamic of, of the look and the outfit. It's just cute and it's classic. And if you have good basics, they can get you through anything. You really, I think people try to get the bells and whistles. And I always really care about the basics because... I just like having good quality tees, good quality jeans, good quality glasses. These are staples. These are staples. Like you don't, you can't get away with rhinestones and gimmicks and rips everywhere mm -hmm. and feel good about yourself. Feel good if you use good fabrics and have good foundation and basics. Well, let's talk about a good.